Yeah, hi, this is Ramma Reddy. Let's start introduction about the compilation process in C. So now in, this is the introduction of the total overall C compilation. So what is the definition of the compilation? So we have a number of high level languages uh, like the C, the C++, Python. Those all are uh, examples of high level languages, but but our computer and uh, systems are understandable, mission understandable codes. So either zeros or ones. So in for converting of this this high level program to low level low level programming language, we have we need we need one compilers. So that is a uh, that is uh, in between some processes there. That process is called compilation. So this compilation before starting the any program execution start any program execution, this compiler can check syntax errors and warnings of that particular program, either C program or CPP program. Now, so what are the phases are available for converting of the high level languages to low level languages? We have a number of phases like a pre-processing phase and compiling or translating phase and assembling phase and linking phase. Those are the main phases are for uh, uh, for the high level programming languages to converting the machine understandable language that is called executable file. So let's start. Uh, this is the overview of how, how that uh, what is the what is the high level language and what is the object, I mean executable file. Uh, either zeros or ones. So these are the mission understandable code. And this is the high level programming language. This is understand by user and whatever the programmer. So for converting of these high level to lower level, we have a, a compilation, four compilation stages are there. That is a pre-processing, compiling, and assembling, and linking. So this is a flow diagram. That is, this is a flow diagram. What? This is the, the, this source code. Source code implemented by the programmer. The source code is a dot .py, dot .c, dot uh, .c++. These are the formats of input files. So that files are given to these stages, preprocessor stage, compiler stage, assembler stage, linker stage. So each stage can generate their corresponding files, their corresponding output files. That files names are cleared, explained uh, this stage. So this is our first one is preprocessing stage. So let's see here the preprocessor stage. What is the preprocessor stage here? We are you a programmer can develop one dot C file. That dot C file in, in high level programming language, that dot C file given to the preprocessor stage, that preprocessor stage can generate pure source file. What is the pure source file? This is the this is the pure source file that is removal of comments, expansion of macros, and include the files and condition compilation. These are the main all are available in high level language but after pre-processing stage we can get pure source file that is that file extension is dot i format or dot double i format so this is the simple c program this is the first one is just included files hash included i mean included file means every pre-processing stage can start with hash that is hash include stdy.vg it is a one library file inclusion this one is uh, this one is uh, one uh, condition compilation has if def age. So if that condition is okay, then compile the, then again next step and hash else. This is a another another compilation of a uh, directive. So and it has defined these are the these are the expansion of macros macros example. Those all are available in this C program. So this is the input of C program file, so dot C file. But we get after compile after after that the preprocessing stage, we get this a pure source file that called dot i file. So please see that this one is first one give to the dot C file or dot C file. Then after preprocessing stage, then we got dot i file or dot i i i file. This is the purpose of preprocess stage in the compilation process second one second one is a compiling compiling so after pre-processing stage we get the pre we get the p 
pure source file that is dot i file or dot double i file so that file can translate that file can translate to mission understandable low level language that is assembly language dot yes or dot asm format it depends upon extension is different for gnu compilers uh, some extension is there for normal compilers some extension is there so extension for, uh, file extension format is different to in compiler co compiler to compiler it is a mission dependency so in compilation stage just just for getting of pre processor output then it it give to compile compiler then compiler can generate assembly file so dot asm format what should do in compilation stage it checks it checks syntax errors and warnings whatever if suppose if don't have any syntax errors warning then it is going to for ex for uh, object file or ex executable file if suppose any syntax errors and warnings came then it's not going to next stage so we don't create dot asm or dot obj files so after after syntax errors warning checking only it generates next dot asm file so this is a format this is the dot i format input then compiler can generate dot asm file this is a push and pop move these all are the primitives of these all are the uh, primitives of uh, that dot asm files so next one assembly so what is the purpose of assembler so assembler can convert for single file uh, dot asm file to object file that particular written in c language or cpp language so compare to compare to high level language dot c format assembly language is fast because it is reduce the number of stages here pre processor and compiler stage we directly written in assembly language so assembler can generate dot asm file dot s file into the object code so this is the format of push and pop at the input file of dot asm assembler can generate zeros and ones this is the object file of that particular c file so that is stage 4 stage 4 what is the purpose of linking so it combines it combines number of object files and whatever the c code we implemented in high language okay that dot that, that corresponding object file and also library files these all are included can generate one exe file one output file so i mean already i said that so depends upon missions it can uh, gen it can uh, change that uh, extension format dot out or dot exe depends upon that dot e lesson so input of this is our particular c program generate one object code so included some library files and some other object files so can generate total that particular project object file that is particular project exe so this is the overall flow of c program so before going to this can see these things okay so once once we go through this so first of all we dot c or cp file pre process stage we given to pre process stage can generate dot i file that is a pure source file then we are given to that pure source file to compiler compiler can generate dot asm file then that asm file given to assembler assembler can generate uh, uh, the dot object file okay dot o file that dot o file and also some of the other object files and some of the library files are included in linker stage that linker generate exe file or dot out file so these are the main purpose we generate exe file these are the main stages after getting the exe then that one loaded to memory so that is the loader stage okay so this is a overall flow of c program already we go these are the syntaxes these are the after compilation stage after assembler stage after linker stage what we go these are the overall the flow of c program this is the total compilation 
process in any high level programming language can convert to mission understandable language so and next we can go through how how we load that memory how that that exe file format happen through the intel exa format will we discuss in next video thank you thank you all